Well, good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson, excited to be with you and share the news with you. This is actually a really big report, and some of you might poo-poo this, and I, I want to address something right up front. You're going to say, well, I knew that. No, you didn't, because the numbers just came out. Watch this one to the end. This is, uh, it's amazing. Okay, so you wonder why some people get free passes. <laughs> the passes aren't free, as you will soon see. Hey, go to LumberjackLogicShow.com. Get yourself some of the best conservative merchandise. Get yourself some Let's Go Brandon apparel. And uh, oh, there's some other really good stuff on there, folks. That It's so good, I can't even talk about it here. LumberjackLogicShow.com. All right. So, out of Mint Press News, revealed... Documents show Bill Gates has given $319 million to guess who? Media outlets, okay? Now, this is just amazing. Seattle, up until his recent messy divorce, Bill Gates enjoyed something of a free pass in corporate media. Generally presented as kindly, a kindly nerd who wants to save the world, the Microsoft co-founder was even unironically christened Saint Bill by The Guardian. <laughs> Freaking frack. <laughs> While other billionaires' media empires are relatively well known, the extent to which Gates cash underwrites the modern media landscape is not. After sorting through over 30,000 individual grants, Mint Press can reveal that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has made over three. Hundred million dollars worth of donations to fund media projects. Recipients of this cash include many of America's most important news outlets, including CNN, NBC, NPR, PBS, and The Atlantic. Ah, one of my favorites. <laughs> Just to show, I love reading from The Atlantic because they're whacked, okay? Gates also sponsors a myriad of influential foreign organizations, including BBC, Guardian, Financial Times, and so on, as well as big global broadcasters like Al Jazeera. I kid you not. This is getting better all the time as we read this report. He's such a good, nerdly guy. No wonder for me. Oh, we just love you, Billy Boy. Okay, awards directly to media outlets. I will not go through them all, but check this out. NPR, $24,663,000. Um, there's not a single conservative outlet on here. I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to burst your bubble because I know you were looking for one. CNN, $3.6 million. Okay, I mean, it just goes on. Minnesota Public Radio, oh gosh, in my home state, one point, almost $3 million, so on. It just, there's a whole list. I'm going to link to the article. It's in the description. To get to the description, it's just below the video. You click on the little arrow on the right, it'll expand and open it up, and it's got all my links, and the article link is always in there. That is at the bottom. People say they don't know how to find those. Anyways, I just want you to know, it's there. You got to check this out. I can't go through it all. It'll take too long. Together, these donations total $166 million, the ones that they, they gave them. But check this out. Uh, then there's more, okay? Now, for example, the $3.6 million CNN grant went towards, get this, reporting of gender equality with a particular focus on least developed countries. Producing journalism on the everyday inequalities endured by women and girls across the world. So you can promote his infanticide agenda yeah you know what i'm talking about there okay while the texas tribune received millions to increase public awareness and engagement of education reform issues in texas because they want texas worse than anything don't kid yourself for a second given that bill is one of the charter school's most fervent supporters a cynic might interpret this as planting pro-corporate charter school propaganda into the media disguised as objective news reporting but you wouldn't think that would you no the gates foundation has also given 63 million to charities closely aligned with big media outlets including nearly 53 million dollars to bbc media action 9 million to mtv's staying alive foundation because you know mtv is really doing positive things for the young generation and 1 million to the new york times neediest causes fund. While not specifically funding journalism, donations to the philanthropic arm of media players should still be noted. Do you think, folks, that this might influence their reporting on certain issues close to Bill Gates' heart, or do you think they just don't care about that $53 million? I'm um, just saying. Okay. 
Gates continues to underwrite a wide network of investigative journalism centers as well, turtling, totaling just over $38 million, more than half of which has gone to the D.C.-based International Center for Journalists to expand and develop African media. Now, how do I say this right on this platform? Africa is a country of particular concern for those who were involved with Planned Parenthood and were promoting, you know, this procedure among certain minorities, right? Y'all understand, I think. Okay. These centers include, and it goes on with all of these different centers, Premium Time Center for Investigative Journalism in Nigeria. I wonder how they're covering different things. $3.8 million. And then they ta- they cloak women's rights around uh, you know, <laughs> a major issue that has nothing to do with rights. In addition to this, the Gates Foundation also applies press and journalism associations with cash to the tune of at least $12 million. For example, the National News Publishers Association, a group representing more than 200 outlets, has received a paltry $3.2 million. Education Writers Association, about $6 million. National Newspaper Publishers, that was a 3.2. National Press, almost two. Washington News Council, 700,000, and so on. This brings our running total to $216.4 million. The foundation also puts up the money to directly train journalists all over the world. Oh, I wonder if these are lefty organizations. Let me just look into this report. In the form of scholarships, courses, and workshops, today it is possible for an individual to train as a reporter thanks to the Gates Foundation grant, find work at Gates Funded Outlet, and to belong to a press association funded by Gates. This is especially true of journalists working in the fields of health, education, and global development, the ones Gates himself is most active in and where the scrutiny of other billionaires' actions and motives are most necessary. He ain't kidding. Gates Foundation grants pertaining to the instructions of journalists include Johns Hopkins University, because they've been coming out with all kinds of wonderful things, haven't they, now lately? Just think over since uh, about... March of 2020. Teachers College Columbia. Oh, Berkeley. I can't believe Berkeley's on here. Why would Berkeley be on here? They're such a bastion of conservatism. Oh, Tsinghao University in China. Mm. <laughs> Institute for Advanced Rhodes University in South Africa. Ah, uh, yes, because he's got to get the press reporting what he wants them to over there because they haven't been duped yet. Okay? They haven't gone totally woke as a joke, okay? World Health Organization, so on. The BMGF also pays, that's Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, also pays for a wide range of specific media campaigns around the world. For example, since 2014, it has donated $5.7 million to the Population Foundation of India in order to create dramas that promote sexual and reproductive health. Oh, really? I wonder what that means, actually. What does that actually mean? Are you 486? Family planning methods in South Asia. You know, it's all about the population control. And <laughs> I, there's so many ways I could go with this in normal world, folks. But I just, I give you this, and then you have to ascertain what you can out of it, okay? I, this is because I'm over here today on... YouTube. Anyways, I did a great live, by the way, over on Locals. If you want to go check it out, lumberjacklogic.locals.com. It's very frustrated, so I kind of let some of that out. But media projects supported by the Gates Foundation, and it goes on with a bunch of these, okay? Oh my gosh, there's so many. 319.4 million and a lot more. Added together, these Gates sponsored media projects come to 319.4 million. However, there are clear shortcomings with this non-exhaustive list, meaning the true figure is undoubtedly far higher. First, it does not count sub-grants, money given by recipients to media around the world. And while the Gates Foundation fosters an air of openness about itself, there's actually precious little public information about what happens to the money from each grant. Save for a short one or two sentence description written by the foundation itself on its website. Okay, and it goes on from here, okay? Low profile, long tentacles. In comparison to other tech billionaires, Gates has kept his profile as a media controller relatively low. 
Okay, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos purchased the Washington Post for $250 million in 2013. And it was a clear and obvious form of media influence, as was eBay founder Pierre Omidar's, Omidar's creation of First Look Media, the company that owns The Intercept, which booted Glenn Greenwald, right? Okay, so anyways, this thing goes on. But here's here, a, couple quick, a couple quick points out of this. Um, one, I want to thank Kanakoa the Great because he shared this on Telegram. Folks, if you aren't on Telegram, get on there, okay? You can follow me on Telegram. That link is below in the description, okay? The other thing is, please go to my sponsors. Freedom Hill Coffee, MyPillow.com, and My Patriot Supply. All those links are below. My Patriot Supply is an affiliate link, but for Freedom Hill Coffee, just go to FreedomHillCoffee.com, use promo code Lumberjack, or you can go to MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack. You are going to save money and support. You're getting double support conservatives. In this world, creating the parallel economy, I just talked about this on another stream I did, but I bought some mags uh, from ETS, which is a sponsor of Dan Bongino, because I actually, I like Dan's programs, I like some of his thoughts, and I could support ETS, which was supporting him, and it was a win-win, okay? It's very important uh, when we have these sponsors to support them, Okay, because they're supporting us. So, you know, get yourself some. I got these slippers. I love these slippers. They are just, mm. I mean, in Minnesota, these things are awesome. You put your foot in that. Oh, it's so warm and lovely. And they got that good sole on them. So I can actually even walk outside in them. And then, of course, get your lumberjack plaid, uh, you know, travel pillow anyways. Big pillows, travel pillows. Anyways, I just, please subscribe to, you know, the, the this, we are living in a world controlled by a select few the information we receive let's make sure that we are getting to information that's why i'm always promoting locals there's a lot of great creators on locals folks a lot of folks that aren't on youtube anymore all right hey remember subscribe to the channel and keep sharing the stuff around peace out